Hello everybody and welcome to The Game Warrior. My name is Jason F. Smith and I'm going to give you a review of Time Stories Expedition Endurance. So the Time Stories board game which we have right here and I have done a review is, is this clever system whereby four players go back in time throughout history and they land and then they have puzzles to solve and there's a system, there's a mechanic for how to do that that is really clever and if you fail you have to, you come back to the regular time and then you go back again and you get to try it over and over again. And there are penalties for taking too much time. The, the game is all about time and it becomes a game about optimization, like really solving these puzzles and getting to your mission's goal as quickly as possible, shaving off a lot of wasted time and as such there are opportunities to go left right up and down and you got to kind of figure out the best way to go the quickest way to go to solve the puzzles the game is incredibly engaging it's a cooperative game with four people as I've mentioned before and everyone is involved it's like what's this what's this what's this the game also includes some really good artwork okay so the base game as I've mentioned to you before comes with a a scenario and then you have to buy these scenarios like this to uh, play continual stories um, they're one-time play this costs about 20 bucks on Amazon and that's it it's done I can't play it again um, so as a value item a lot of people um, bar balk at this I don't balk at it at all 20 bucks 22 bucks 23 bucks for a whole evening with my friends um, you know, usually between four to eight, sometimes 10 hours, depending on how slow it is for you to solve that system. Um, totally worth it. I mean, where are you going to spend a whole evening if, if you, if everyone pitched in five bucks, it's five bucks for an entire day of gaming. I mean, people complain about it. I don't get it. Anyways, so this is the fourth one. Now, let me see if I've gone through it. I had the start one, which went with that one. Then there was the Marcy case. And then we did the Prophecy of Dragons. And then we did Under the Mask, which was a Pharaoh Egyptian one. I think those are the three. And this would be the fourth. If I missed one, and I, you can go look at my videos because I've done videos for them all. Okay, so this one is Expedition Endurance 1914. Um, so the endurance was lost at sea. What really happened to the Imperial Transatlantic Transantarctic Expedition? So this is a ship that went down to the Arctic and it got lost in 1914. When I first thought it was 1914, I assumed that this was going to be about World War I. It's not. It's about going down to the Arctic Sea. Now, the, the game reminds me thematically a lot, if you've ever seen it, uh, The Thing by John Carpenter. Um, it also has kind of some small, small echoes of Aliens vs. Predator, which also took place down in Antarctica. Um, so your characters, you come into receptacles and you're translated onto a ship, okay? It's a regular ship, not a spaceship. And you have to solve the problem of what's going wrong. Now, I've already given you a hint because I mentioned the Car John Carpenter's The Thing. So there's some spooky-ass shit going on. And it was really, really fun. So the theme of spooky-ass shit was played out really well. I really liked it. Um, the character receptacles that they gave you, they were pretty good. Um, not quite as engaging as some in the past because I don't remember them and that's how I can tell you that, okay? Uh, the story, there was mechanics. that always tried to twist the game up a little bit and this one had a little bit of a, a twist. The beginning started in a certain way that they haven't done before and I liked it. I think... It, it pushed the edge of darkness, it pushed the edge of anxiety, and it pushed the edge of what you are able to tolerate perfectly. And I know some players in my group were like, I was almost pissed off. And I was like, yeah, I got it. I think they played it just perfectly. And so, uh, what I know a lot of you who have played Time Stories are gonna say is that you really enjoy the puzzles. And the puzzle, there's usually a big kind of an uber puzzle in these games. So you're picking up clues everywhere and then you get to a certain area and you have to solve this in order to, to, to win. And this one kind of had one like that too. And this was probably the weakest part of the game if you're super into puzzles, right? 
Now, some of these puzzles I've never been able to solve. The puzzle in this first one, we finished this game. We probably played 12, 14 hours, got to the end, and we just, we just couldn't solve it. So I had to look up on the internet and figure out what it was about. And you've heard me complain about that before if you've watched my previous videos. I didn't like that puzzle. That puzzle is very popular with many people. Not with me. It broke rules. I don't like it. I still don't like it. This puzzle, right in the game. Everything was fair, played out, very, very good. It was just pretty easy. And in fact, I was cooking dinner while I was playing with, with my uh, friends. And so I had to get up and tend the food for a minute. And by the time I came back, the two, uh, so the two men in the group, the couple that played, we went up, tended the meal and came back. Five minutes later, the women had solved the puzzle. They, they got the puzzle, solved the puzzle. That was it. So it was pretty easy, right? And I don't know if that's good or bad, right? The story went along, it, it, it did its thing, and we solved it. And so we solved it in two runs, and that's the best we've ever done, right? And if you've played this game, you'll know what I mean by two runs, because there are some shenanigans that go on within that. But I enjoy the game. And it, it just comes down to over and over again that I enjoy the process of sitting with my friends, going back in time, and and learning a little bit about history and what's going on and meeting with something that's going wrong in the time continuum, trying to fix it. Um, some areas are spooky. Some areas are more, you know, fantastic, like the Prophecy of Dragons. Um, so it's, uh, there was the Marcy case, which was a zombie infested in the 90s um, under the mask uh, back in uh, the Pharaoh times. That was really good. So there's just these themes and they do them really well and they tell a story that comes out. And so far, I just love them all. I just love them all. Now we rank them and I put them along the, the, the ways which I like some better than others. And, uh, and this is just a solid good one. Now there is an order to them. So there's kind of an uber story that's going on. I highly, highly like that. That's a big plus for me. Really, really good. Um, I don't know what that urban story is, but you can see that they're giving clues here, giving clues there, and it's really fun to gather those clues. So, Expedition Endurance. Um, there's a great picture of the ship in the back and the ice and snow, and the theme of cold comes through really well, and it was just a fun time. It was our quickest run. It was the least problems we've had solving it. Um, we asked ourselves at the end, was this easier than the other, or, was, or are we just getting that good? And you do get better. You start to feel how the game is going and you kind of meta it. Where is it going? What's it asking me to do? What is a total red herring and that's bullshit? And what is actually really good? So, yes, we're getting better. But is this easier? I don't know. All I do know and what I can tell you right now is that it was totally fun. Just a great time. We've been playing with the same couple uh, every time, me and my wife. And it's just it's just become something we just totally love to do um just a whole weekend we set aside for it sometimes it's a saturday sunday um, this time we did it all in one day and that was really fun um, there's artwork on each one and i wanted to speak a little bit about the artwork in this one it was great i thought they did a great job on the art and uh, they usually do so uh to everyone out there who is on the time stories journey with us expedition endurance great thumbs up from the game warrior i highly recommend it